Hello everybody, Richard with CRG Games, and today I'm going to take a few minutes and show you how to analyze the sales data of any card in under 10 minutes. So I was looking through the MTG stock market, I saw that Lethal Scheme had, uh, had a price rise of 202%, and we can see the price trend here. We don't know how many actually sold, or the dollar amount of sales. So what you do is you go to TCG Player's website, we're going to update this actually. Make sure we're all uh, good to go. I'm going to go to view sales history, and we're going to load sales until we get, you know, maybe the last uh, the last two weeks. So we're going to need to be to the 13th. And there have been a lot of sales on this cards uh, on this card, so it uh, may take you a second to load up all the pages. So we need to go to the 13th here. All right. So go back to the top. Highlight all of your data all the way back to the 13th and there's a lot of it all right we got all the way to the 13th here you're going to copy that data open up a spreadsheet and insert that now you need to get all this stuff out of one column because that's a problem so we're going to highlight that column go to data text to columns hit fixed width because we need to determine which uh, columns we want. So we've got date in the first column, condition in the second, quantity in the third, and then price in the fourth. Hit next and finish. Insert a header. So we need uh, date, condition, quantity, price. And I want to do one more, the sum of sales. Actually, we're going to wait to do that. You need to verify that all everything transferred over correctly. Now, if there is a listing with a photo, it won't. So we need to hit here. We're going to format this as accounting. We have our column shifted over. So we've actually got a quantity of one at a price of $5. We got a quantity of 20 here at a price of $5.50 go through just make sure everything copied over correct uh, we got new mint one copy 255 here we've got 12 at 2.97 73 at 2.98 this is actually the uh, longest part of the process I recommend if you're doing this that you do <clears throat> your uh, dates separately when you have a day with two digit or a day with one digit because once you get down to five nine everything will be shifted over even again and uh, it's just a real pain in the butt. Uh, this one didn't go so we need to do it manually. We got near mint and the date is 513. We can just drag this down hit copy there we go so now all of our data is fixed we'll scroll back up just make sure that we did a good job everything looks good so now we're good to go you're going to highlight all your data and you're going to insert a table so we can actually use it our table does have headers hit ok i like to add one additional column this is uh, pretty important. This is going to be the total dollar amount uh, that each sale was. So you need to have the price, which you're going to add uh, in our formula here, equals the price times the quantity sold. So this will autofill. So for example, here we've got one sold for nine dollars, so our total is nine. We had two sell for nine twenty nine each, so it's eighteen fifty. This will give us a, a pretty accurate um, uh, dollar amount of the actual um, orders uh, for each individual one. So now we want to summarize this so we can actually use it uh, a little bit better. So we're going to summarize that with a pivot table. That can go on the next sheet. We're going to add our columns, date, quantity, and total dollars. So now we know from 527 to 513 the total quantity of this card sold was $622. That does include all conditions. If you'd like, 
you can add more columns um, or more um, fields and break it down even further. But that's not really that important. And then our total uh, sales um, for each day. So $101 sold on 513, $522 sold on 523, and so on and so forth. So let's format this also as accounting. And then we want to go to pivot table analyze and in, uh, add a chart. I like to do a combo chart. You can pick the one that uh, you know you, you like the best. I want to do the uh, dollar amount, the sum of the total sales on the uh, other line here. So hit OK. We're going to move this, make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And now we've got useful data for each day. So we know on 513 we had uh, 33 um, cards sell for a total price of $101. And in the last couple of weeks, there's been $2,500 uh, worth of this card sold. And of course the price is increasing um, over time, the total, um, uh, the total dollar amount. Then let's make this a little bit fancier. So let's go to design. I like uh, I really like this one and we want to add data labels that way we don't have to guess and there we go uh, if you'd like you can add a data table down at the bottom so you have all the uh, numbers just there um, handy and now you've got a functional chart of the total quantity each day that a card is sold and the total value of all of those cards that have sold. So this will give you a good idea of um, price trends, movements, if there are buyouts or not. Obviously this is a buyout day. Um, this is also what I would consider a buyout day and some other spikes. And generally what you'll have is a buyout day and then a lull. So what happens if you buy all these cards, people see that, they list inventory um, and they each try to undercut each other so the price gets lower, you wait a day, then you buy more. You wait a day, you buy more. And then you just keep doing that. Rinse and repeat until you get up to here, which is probably these guys selling off. Uh, and you can kind of tell that that might be the case because then the price, uh, the total volume of sales has gone down. These are what we would call institutional investors in stock market trading. These are retail investors, aka players. I'm hype. I'm um, uh, saying this hypothetically. It's impossible to tell, of course, um, but it's uh, a good way to show the data and find out exactly what's going on. So, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you'd like me to do this for any specific card for any specific time period, um, I'd be happy to give that a shot and help you out. It'll cost you a little bit of money because. Uh, my time is valuable, and um, it, you know I, I am a business, so I got to make money. But uh, happy to do that. I love Excel. You know, I like looking at data, so um, I, I would I would probably enjoy it. So again, hope you guys found this helpful. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.